Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the preparation necessary to become a metal drummer in a really general sense. So this isn't absolutely everything you need to be a metal drummer, and it's not necessary to have absolutely every piece of this to play every kind of metal, but I'm just saying in a vague general sense, these are some things that would help you to know if you're ready to be a metal drummer, to try out for a metal band, to start a metal band. Now, obviously, if you can play along to a lot of metal songs, you're probably there, but this is just a rough overview of the most basic skills. I'm going to do everything here at about 200 BPM uh, because I think that's sort of the threshold for most metal playing. Yes, a lot goes faster than that. Yes, a lot is slower than that. But if you can get up to that, you're at least generally in the ballpark for a lot of metal material. The first thing you ought to be able to do is play like quarter note rock beats. So check this out. Okay, so then for going from there, obviously eighth note rock beats. So if you can do those things, you're basically a rock drummer. This is what's required for playing ACDC, Journey, Foreigner, you know, like arena rock type material, uh, classic rock to some extent, like your basic rock and roll type beats. Now, in order to be a metal drummer, of course, you have to exceed that. So it's the same basic skill, but if you speed up the rock beats, you get thrash beats, or some people call them skank beats, and there's a few different variations of these. But again, if you can play these at at least 200 BPM without sacrificing any quality or uh, cheating in any way, then you're probably good to go for most things. So you saw there's a few different variations there, but they're all sort of in that thrash beat repertoire. As long as we're playing thrash, we might as well be okay at playing punk. So there's a couple of general punk beats. Um, old school punk, like 70s and early 80s, is basically the same beats as rock, just played faster. Um, but then, specifically, there are like D beats, right? And these, there's like the simple version and then like the full version. I'll play them here. And if you can do these, it's going to help you out with a lot of crossover, old school death, uh, thrash to some extent. Of course, what is a metal drummer without double bass, right? So. Uh, if you can play just basically sixteenths and triplets at at least 200 BPM, you're going to be somewhat prepared for a lot of metal material. Of course, you could go off the deep end on double bass, and obviously I have a book on it that you can uh, look at, and I've got a bunch of technique videos on how to do different double bass things. But just sixteenths and, and eighth triplets, or uh, straight across at 200, that's somewhere to start. That's at least something that you can obviously get a handle on, and you can play a lot of songs that way. Okay, and finally, for a lot of metal, blast beats are kind of a thing these days. So, uh, obviously there's plenty of metal that doesn't use blast beats, but if you want to go to that route, uh, there's three you gotta basically know. Traditional blast, uh, hammer blast, and bomb blast. And of course there are variations, you can invert things. There's a, a lot of different ways you can make these sound different. Uh, but here are the three basic ones, uh, again, played at 200 BPM. Cool, so if we just recap, uh, we got quarter note and eighth note rock, we got D beat punk, we got skank beat thrash, 
We got basic eighth uh, triplet and sixteenth note double bass, and we got the three major types of blasts in there. And right, if you can do all of these things um, at or above 200 BPM, then you are at least somewhat baseline prepared for whatever a sort of heavier metal type band would throw at you. Uh, of course, if you want to get into gent, you've got to be able to do like polyrhythms. If you want to get into death metal, you're going to really need to excel at the blast beat portion and go above and beyond. Um, if you want to be in uh, sort of a doom metal band, you could probably stop at the rock beats to some extent, depending on the style you're going for. Uh, so it just completely depends, but I'd say if you just want to say, you know, I think I'm vaguely prepared to start learning some metal material, this is somewhere to start. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.